Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Um, just before we got this video underway, I really quickly wanted to mention the tragic and absolutely horrific plane crash that took place in Colombia that took the lives of 76 people, uh, including, unfortunately, team members and officials of the Chapecoense Brazilian Football Club. And it's um, it's an event that's absolutely shook, it's shook the whole football world to its core. Um, it's just so fucking tragic. And I just really, really quickly wanted to take time out to just say uh, my thoughts are with the families and the friends, and I know everyone else is as well. And of course, rest in peace and just wanted to pay my respects to everyone that's passed away. It's just such a tragic event, but I don't know. I felt like I had to say something. So anyway, rest in peace. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my latest football reaction. It is another Newcastle match, and it's not just a regular run-of-the-mill league game. No, we have made it all the way through to a quarter-freaking final, which as a Newcastle fan, I don't think I've been able to say for God knows how long. Newcastle United and cup runs just don't happen. And now that we're in the championship, it's our best ever chance possibly of winning a cup in God knows how long. It doesn't make any sense, but I'm so on board. We are about to play Hull City, and it's actually pretty interesting. It's a very interesting matchup because it's the worst of the Premier League versus the best of the championship. We may be in the lower division, and yet we're still going into this as favourites. Even though it's away, even though, again, we are in a lower division, the bookies and pretty much the majority of players and uh, fans and pundits would have Newcastle as the uh, favourites, and I'm not just saying that either. But yeah, it's Hull City versus Newcastle. It's about to get underway. I think I'll give you guys a quick prediction. I think maybe... I feel like 2-1 is very safe and very generic for Newcastle, so maybe I'll say this. Maybe let's give it a 1-1 draw in, in normal time. I got a feeling this might be going to extra time, and then we sneak it 2-1. How about that? So a 2-1 win for Newcastle. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it underway. How are the lads? Come on, Newcastle. All right, I think we're about to get underway. Yes, we are. Here we go. Hull City have got it kicked off, and they are just launching it upfield straight away. Let's begin this. It's a quarterfinal. Newcastle United in it. I don't believe it. Let's go. Where's, where's the time? Where's the score? Where, where is it? BN Sports, what's happening? Hull starting to drive forward on a bit of a rare attack at the moment. Tackled from behind by Hayden. It's clean. Shelby, he whacks it upfield. Who we got? Gale? Is he onside? Yes, he is. Being closed down. Come on, what's he going to do? Nice shot. Oh, nice shot. Good save from the keeper. That that, that contact was That was sensational by Gale under pressure. Got a real good shot off, but denied by the keeper. And again, Newcastle continuing to just get the ball and go forward and get chances. Diame keeps his feet. I really want Diame to get a fucking hat-trick in this game. What just the goal! Oh, that one's wide as well. Again, space. Getting chances to shoot from distance, but they're all just not really on target right now. And even if they are, they're getting denied a good save. But, oh, Diame. I just wanted Diame goal so badly. That actually went through the defender's legs as well. What do we got? We're playing it short. Shelby, bit of space now. Hayden, Richie. Oh my God, and that's just missed as well. Oh, um, no, seriously. How, we're taking shots and pots. At, what? We're taking so many efforts from outside of the box, and they're just getting so close every time. That would have been, oh, what a goal that could have been. Oh, tackle, nice. He's kept it too, this is lovely. Hayden. Oh, Hayden White as well. Gale's got his hands up in the air. That would have been a sensational effort. He won the ball back and just went for it himself too. I just think David Myler just didn't know where he was there for a second, or he definitely didn't see Myler coming. And that strike just wide as well. Seriously, how many shots have we taken and not scored? This is so insane. That was a bee stick away. And besides, I think this keeper has shown that even if it gets on target by just the littlest amount from that shot before with Gale, you get, he's probably going to have it covered anyway. We've got to do a little better. We're trying to get a little closer and trying to... I don't know. I'm okay. i am got nothing against taking all these long shots, but fuck's sake. The majority of these aren't even getting on target. Now he'll finally get the ball, but now he's surrounded. Diame, what a turn. He'll strike. It's blocked by Gale. Oh my God. I said on Twitter that this game's panning out like a bullshit match of FIFA, and... Now, <laughs> our own attackers are getting in the way of each other's shots. How more bullshit can that get, can, like, as a fit? Oh, you know what I mean. That shit happens in FIFA all the time. I swear that we're just going to dominate this game all fucking day, all night anyway, and then they're just going to, like, nick one in the, like, last second or so. Like, it's literally going to turn into a bullshit match of FIFA. It's got that vibe about it. Go on the whole way here. Might get a shot off. He will. And that's why. There we go. I was about to say... Were they about to nick it at the last second and get that BS? No. A shot off by, I think that's Andrew Robertson. I'm not exactly sure though, but either way, it is going to be nil-nil. Hull City can thank their lucky stars that they don't have at least one goal or two goals left to chase in the second. Because man, 
I almost want to say we were unlucky, but we just dominated and didn't get a goal. Maybe there's a little bit of unluckiness there, but I don't know, man. It feels like a wasted half for all that domination. Hopefully we can do the same in the second and maybe snag a goal or two. Okay, so Newcastle get this one kicked off the second half now. Hopefully we can continue the domination that we put on uh, Hull City in the first but hopefully with a little bit more reward and a little bit more success with our attacks. Hopefully, basically, let's just get a fucking goal, boys. Please, I beg. I think we're nearly at the hour mark and everyone's waiting for a goal right now. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> and I don't, I'm assuming that's the whole city manager, but his face right there is representative of everyone watching this game. Just, oh, what are we doing? Seriously. Crossed in, header there. Thankfully, it's like... I don't know, probably the first shot on target for the game, maybe. I, f I wouldn't fucking know. But bloody hell, thankfully it's a nice soft one and saved. I really will say this. I think it's time for some... Uh, I think it's time for some fresh legs, Rafa. We could definitely do it with a change because right now it's like... Oh my God. Oh my God. It's just getting a bit too... Yeah, don't like this. Don't like this at all. There we go. That's a fucking shit way to give the ball over there. And now what? Ball whipped in. It's evaded everybody. Okay. Whole city could have done better there. The ball's still alive, though. Just kept in. Just kept in. And still in here. Maybe Atsu. I don't... He doesn't have an awful lot to go to. But what a cross! And the header looked like it was blocked. And whacked away again. All right. Well, 10 minutes left to go. Bit of a challenge there. Looks like Embakani's kicked out. Oh, here we go. There's been a bit of a competition and a bit of a headbutt there, too. He's gone pretty uh, hard into that right there. Is Embakani on a yellow card already? He could be... He might be getting sent off here, depending on what the referee does. I think it's right. Yeah, I reckon he's gone. He's done. It's a red card. I don't know if it's straight red or yellow. I, I don't know. But he's done. He's out of the game. And, and Hull City, with what? Two or oh, about a minute or so left to go until stoppage time. He's gone. So that might be big. Especially if... No. Is it Mbemba that's going off? For, no. Okay, no. I think I think, the, I think whoever's in charge of graphics has fucked that up there. Well, clearly he has. Because obviously Mbemba is not fucking playing today. But whatever. Oh, so we're, oh, I can, so I can, man, he's probably hit the wrong button. It's Embakani, but instead he slipped and is like, oh, fuck, I hit Mbemba. And there's full time. There were still five more seconds left to go, you twat. We could have kicked it forward and scored an amazing wonder goal. But no, apparently not. Extra time, and oh, I swear, I can't take 30 more minutes of this. Not, not for the tension, not for the absolute heart pounding action, because literally, I, I, I think my heart has probably stopped a few times. I, not like skip the beat, as in, I'm fucking dead of boredom. This game has just been so poor. I swear, it's just insane. But we are going to extra time. Five minutes gone by, and once again, exactly what I thought. The whole city bus, the bus is parked. Crossed in. Die, uh, Gale. Shot by, oh, Kira Clark came close. And saved by Jakubovic. I think Gale just went a little too early with the jump, and Clark, it fell to him. He got a nice shot off, but it was right at the keeper. Ball, ball, good for him. He can get, oh, he can't shoot. He gets shut down. He had his back to goal. And to Lazar, tight angle, bang, hits the, oh my god, he hit the crossbar, and on the follow-up effort, Shelby again, saved by the keeper into corner, oh my god, how many fucking shots, how many, still no goals, when the ball's in, it's a goal, it's a goal, Diab who's it, Diabe, he scores, they didn't even show the goal, I've waited 97 minutes for this, and they finally score, and <laughs> they didn't even show the goal. I can't believe I'm seeing this, are you fucking kidding me man sports, what is this? They were showing the replay of the missed opportunity, they clearly took the corner quickly, and look, alright, let's see this, this is the first time I'm seeing the goal. Anita whipped in the ball, headed home, no, not really, it's just stuck in by Diame. The keeper saved it, but it ended up going in. And of all Newcastle players to score, it had to be Diame. You beauty. Now that whole city actually have to get forward and attack, it's going to be pretty interesting now, won't it? And uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's a chance for us to maybe even put the game away again. Hang on a minute. I'll be quiet. Saved by Matt Sells. Snowgrass has put it in. Wow. I don't believe it. I don't, f I don't fucking believe it. They've scored. How long did we hold? How long did we hold that lead for? Like a minute, not even. I don't believe it. Wow, that's fucking staggering. That is incredible. Wow, Newcastle, unbelievable. What the fuck happened as well? I was just lost. I was in dreamland for a second. A tackle by who? No idea. Hayden maybe, saved by Matt Sells. He just puts it into the path of Snodgrass who just follows it up. And that's that. We literally held uh, from kickoff to that goal was probably about 15 seconds. Well, I would like to think that maybe the floodgates have opened now. Hopefully there'll be more goals. Shelby. He's looking to set something up. You know he is. And that one, unfortunately, is wide. And that's it then. Half time. Unbelievable. 
We finally get the goal after just pounding and just knocking on the door forever. Finally, we get it. And what do we do? Fall asleep at the fucking wheel. And then we can see within a couple of seconds after kickoff. Absolutely unbefucking believable. And now we're going to try to get it again in the fifth, in the final 15. Because if this goes to penalties and we lose, that's BS. Go on here, not bad. Add to it with a cross whipped in. And is that Gale? Did Gale get a head onto it? I have no idea. I think Gale nearly could have scored, but it was right at the keeper. And Jakubovic makes the save. That could have been oh, the one that got us back in front. There might have even been a chance that Dal Murphy got his head on twist. Who knows? I think it was Gale. I'm not sure. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, this is very awkward. Fuck's sake. No, not like this. Not like fucking this. I swear to God they're going to get it, aren't they? Maybe no. Sells grabs it. I fucking swear to God. We've got oh, too many games go like that. It was going to end in a bullshit FIFA result, wasn't it? That was how it was going to go. Still yet to be there. And that'll do it. Penalty shootouts. When was Newcastle's last penalty shootout? I don't know, but right now, right fucking now, is when it's the only way it has to be settled. We score, we can see within 20 seconds, fuck it. It's going to always be penalties. Well, if anything, this is going to be pretty interesting because I have never, ever witnessed a Newcastle United penalty shootout live in my entire time supporting them. I think the last time they ever had a penalty shootout was 2006. And if there was a penalty shootout, if that was when it was, I certainly wasn't watching it live at the time when I was, I don't even know how old, like fucking 12 or 13. So no, this is the first time I'm ever watching a Newcastle United penalty. Am I bringing bad luck or good luck? All I know is they don't have a good fucking record. One of nine of their last penalty shootouts Newcastle have won. That's fucking dreadful. And we have Matt Sells in goal. Well, here we go. Of course, we're shooting away from our home fans as well. So here we go. Shelby will take the first. He said, say, of course he fucking has. Of fucking course. That makes perfect sense. Of course, we've been killing them all fucking game. And it's not over yet. That's fine. And now we have to rely on Matt Sells. You have to make at least one stop or they have to miss. If you can get one right now, that'd be great. Snowgrass, their designated penalty taker, will probably take the first. Matt Sells, if you can save this, I will never say a bad thing about you ever for the entirety of your Newcastle career. It's been buried in the top right-hand corner, and they are up 1-0. Unfucking believable Dominated the cunts all fucking game. The first half was a massacre. The second half, not so much, but still we were dominating. And then, of course, they parked the bus for the entire extra time. We finally score. Concede within 20 fucking seconds because we just fall asleep at the wheel. And now they might get it on penalties. And now Gale, who, to be fair, an extra time missed a fair few chances, but... He's hit the crossbar! Yeah, this is tremendous! Absolutely fucking spectacular! You fucking better believe it! This game's a joke! We couldn't bury these absolutely useless cunts! Fuck this! Oh, I couldn't believe it! Why do penalties exist? Why do they- Why do penalties fucking exist? Why do they exist? It should be like the UFC. We've been fucking killing them all game. It should be like judges. Be like, you know what, actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been the better side. We should win. So, I thought he went the right way. Not saved. 2-0. Whole City are going to fucking... How are they going to find their way to the semis? I don't fucking believe this. Absolute bullshit. Ha! Oh, can't... Yeah, no. Nah, this is bullshit. In before we miss all three and then they just do the clean sweep. Atsu. Oh my god, that one's hit the crossbar and just gone in. Oh my god, we scored one. Thank fuck. Huddleston, you should miss this. You know you should. Your, your team doesn't deserve to fucking go through. It's absolute BS. You should just miss this on purpose. He'll chip it. Oh my god, he got a hand to it, but he still couldn't keep it out, Mad Cells. I don't even want to fucking watch the end of this. He got a hand to it, but still couldn't keep it out, Mad Cells. I, I trust in Rafa and everything, yeah, but why did we put our worst keeper in a fucking game where we could very well end up in this situation? We've got Carl Darlow, who has saved a fair few penalties before as well in the past. I remember one against Kabai toward the end of last season. Why wouldn't have he have started this game? Don't fucking believe this. Goofran, to keep us alive... Saved, and that's it. All right, now we're out. Yeah, see you later, great. I just wasted two hours of my fucking life watching this game, and now a penalty shootout. That is, that is one penalty shootout one in the last ten in the last ten for Newcastle, and that was just abysmal. And you know, and you know, it fucking sucks as well. You just knew that we weren't going to win this as well with the keepers in goal and with everything, and with all the ugh, fucking bottles. Bottlers. Well, congratulations, whole city. I mean, you definitely were not the better team. And honestly, I don't think you fucking deserve to go through. But, like, you did what you had to do to get through, you know what? And fair play to you. I shouldn't be angry at whole city. I should be angry at us. How do we score? How do we dominate a game, like, for as long as we do, not get a goal in regular time, get a goal in extra time, concede within 20 seconds of that fucking goal, and then let this happen? That's exactly fucking why. Fucking Newcastle. I haven't even looked at Twitter yet. I haven't even looked at my mentions. 
I don't even know if I fucking want to. Seriously, I'm worried. Newcastle, please, sort your fucking shit out. Nine wins in a row was fucking great. But then you bottle it and you lose 1-0 against Blackburn. You know what? That's fine. You're not going to win them all. Maybe you'll drop one at home against a team that's down to the bottom of the table. It happens. Fine. Well, you're hoping to bounce back in this sort of game. And to some extent, you did. Dominate in the game for as long as you do. But if you don't put your chances away and you don't fucking score and you start Matt Sells, why do we still play Matt Sells? He's the most awkward fucking cunt to ever touch and play football. And I swear to fucking God, if I see him in the team again, I will not fucking have it. Well, anyway, that's going to do it. I've really just got to fucking end this. 30 shots in the whole game to their like 9 or 10 or something. All that possession, all that domination just wasted down the drain. That's fucking great. Rafa, I expect some sort of response here, mate, because fuck's sake, I mean, we trust in you, we love you and everything, and but fuck's sake, this last, this last week's been a fucking shit one for you. Maybe some of your worst. Until next time, guys, my next reaction, whatever the fuck that may be, if you want me to react to any games as well, leave it in the comments down below. Try not to be too much of a cunt in the, in the comments, please. I know you really want to be a cunt. I know you want to say ha 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 or laugh at me or something like that. Please, I mean, feel free. I mean, banter's banter. But don't be a cunt. If you're going to be a cunt, then you can fuck off. And I will fucking find you and fucking castrate you. Wow, it's getting pretty extreme. I need a chill. I'm, I'm just going to fucking go to bed now. Okay, thank you. See you later. Bye-bye.